Hello everyone and welcome back to Lost Judgment. I appreciate you for watching the third episode of the series so far. We just recently got done surveying the Seiru High High School here in Yokohama to help out our buddies in detective detectives Yokohama 99 and uh, we've successfully escaped all of the guards and would you look at that <laughs> I can just move around with my new skateboard I'll make this way easier knowing that there's like so many um, places here all right boxing style let's go oh I hurt Ooh, a double. Able to dodge that. Because the high. Oh my god, let's go, Yagami. Oh, come on. And back to Tiger Style. One of my favorites. There's so much uh, adaptability in this game. So many styles. That's why I love it so much. As for me, I will be disappearing as well. Grab this token here and go ahead and plop these guys out of the way. Oh, yeah. So they have the. Oh my god. That was a good straight right there. Okay. Okay, Yagami. Going hard. I feel like the boxing style might not be his strong suit. Either way, I'm going to have to upgrade it to get way better results, that's for sure. Hey, how's it going, guys? Want to fight? Oh, yeah. Go into the Tiger style. Charge it up. Dodge him. And go for this guy. Oh yeah. Really, guys? Right. More grinding here. Let's try to beat these guys up as well. Oh no. <laughs> he actually dropped me. Okay. Not anymore. Oh, okay. Almost got him over there, too. Ended off with the box to sell, as always. What a waste. You know, your feet get tired after a while. And right. Let's get over to Yokohama 99. Hey, what's up, fellas? <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm really, really loving this snake style. The combos here for Aikido. <laughs> I hit the air, but I still hit him. Yeah, this is really fun. I'm quite sure that they added the skateboard. 
because of the fact that this map is so large, you know? It was supposed to be for titles that are like RPG like, which is like a like a dragon. Here we go. But uh the fact that they put it in for a lost judgment is amazing. Ended it off with dropping it into the floor. Wow. I love this game so much. Right, we're here now at Yokohama 99. <laughs> oh man, you almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. That way, they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? Wow, look who's talking. But that's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? Yeah, if everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. I guess we'll see. Oh, what's this over here? Can I make food? Oh, I can decorate the room. <laughs> I have nothing. Well, I guess let us rest then. Progress the story a bit more. And see what's next. Right to it. Gotta head to Seiru. Hi again. Right. Oh, it's right here on the map still. Okay. I guess we'll skateboard over there. I was thinking it was gonna be a uh, separate location. Most of the Yakuza games are like that, you know? You have like a separate location all the time that you have to go through taxi only. Oh my god, I'm just about to get ran over. Can I do tricks on this? Oh, I can. Oh, that's so cool. Ah. Oh, got a boundary. Oh, hey there. Is this Ichiban Sunday? Oh, it is! <laughs> Ichiban Confections. It's actually in this world as well. Alright. Let's get some of that show you. This is the cheapest. <laughs> That's a good touch. I remember how uh, fun that minigame was. And you would get like a orbital laser satellite. Once you got done with it and all, that was so fun. I think the game's in order. Oh my god. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that one. I, and uh, I'm glad that I was able to get uh, like a dragon in there before this. Oh, uppercut's so fast. Really, guys? It's like everything is like so cohesive, you know, when you play the games together. So I, I highly recommend playing them in chronological order. Now, I'm really excited for uh, the new Like a Dragon coming out soon. So for all you guys out there watching, um, I'll be doing a series on that at some point. Oh man. What do you got drop me like that? Backstabber. So hopefully you will stay tuned for that as well. And 
and stay down. Hey guys, what's up? Great. Let's well, drop you off. I'm gonna drop you off the downtown. Oh, I actually want to. Here we go. Bounce him off the wall. Ah. Oh. Really, guys? No issue here. That was still pretty satisfying. Oh, looks like you don't get ran over. Nice. <laughs> That's only in like a dragon. You get ran over and you lose, you lose 100 health right away. It was pretty funny and janky of a mechanic. All right, we're here at Seiru. Hi. What's on the next task? Yo, so are you going to come out to lunch with us or what? Huh? Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Come on, Matsun's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. <sighs> we told you to get your ass up, you little slut. Ah, oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> Enough! Get your ass up! What's the fucking holdup, Coda? You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. So slow. I can't fucking stand you. Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. Hey, who the fuck said that? <laughs> We're making you sick, huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. The fuck? <laughs> Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do the job. Seriously, you guys? You're taking Koda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Koda-san? Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right. Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? What the fuck, man? If you want to talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this don't you understand? <sighs> yeah. You know what, guys? It's true. You guys just need to leave her alone. Let's go. He's, he's totally right. What's your problem with her anyway? Yeah, Koda didn't do anything wrong, guys. Exactly. So back off Koda-san already. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. When you guys going to lunch, <laughs> go choke on a chopstick. Oh, how does it feel now? Just get going, would you? Yeah. Toss them out. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love Kaito's personality on this. Hey, <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah. Well, let's just go. Fuck it. I've never seen those kids band together like that. They all knew what was going on in there, though. It can be hard to speak up even when you know something happening right in front of you is wrong. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just psychology. There's this concept called the bystander effect. According to the psychologists, 
When a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. One, if no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. The result? Everybody stands there and nobody takes action. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. <laughs> Penguins are the same way. You ever seen a flock of them hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One takes the first plunge and the others all start following after him. The first penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. So for Yagami-shi, <laughs> that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. I can't Plus, say for certain this resolved your bullying problem. But here's hoping it's at least a good first step. The principal had to put something in, you know? Sounds smart, too. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. <laughs> there we are, Coda. Why center effect has now been in effect for your own effect. And it was effective. Kaching. <laughs> what do you say we monitor the situation for now? Might not be wise for adults to intervene just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. But it should be teachers and administrators handling these matters, not detectives. You know what? I couldn't agree more. And if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Kaito oh, misses come her. Come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. You know what she thinks? She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle in academic affairs. Well, then, I apologize on her behalf. But Yagami-san, that was some magic you worked there. Hard to admit this at my age, but I learned quite a bit from what you did. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Mm. Good stuff, Yagami-san. Naturally. All I right. knew you would deliver. Where's the payment, guys? <laughs> huh? I need to get paid for this, you know? Oh, That's right. We're doing double duty. Sorry, I have to take this. Hey, this is Yagami. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure. I have a rather urgent request for you. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Listen, sorry, son. Uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I can take a rush job at the moment. We aren't even in Kamacha right now. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now, at Serio High School. Uh, sorry, son? You there? Serio High? Somewhere near Yijincho? Is that the school? Hmm? Have you heard of it? A college-age student teacher from that school went missing about two months ago. It was all very sudden. Huh. I think I heard something about that, actually. He himself was a Seiryu High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba, and his body was discovered a few days ago. They found him in one of Ichincho's abandoned buildings. Huh? The body was badly decomposed. But Kanagawa police have just released his identity. Moments ago, in fact. Moments ago? This is gonna end today? Thing is, someone else knew Mikoshiba was dead, before the police even confirmed it. A sex offender, Akihiro Ehara. I defended him in court. 
The day Mikoshiba disappeared, Ehara was arrested at the station for groping. He's also an active duty officer. So you're saying he committed the murder too? No. The victim was still alive while Ahara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. So if I have this right, he has an alibi for the murder? Right. But there's more to it. A few days ago, someone lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. It obviously couldn't have been Ahara, so I suspect that's the real culprit. But whoever that is, is somehow connected to Ahara. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no other way he could have known about the body. Exactly. There's clearly more to Ahara than an officer turned groper. More than likely, he's an accomplice to murder. Okay. So do we have a motive? Four years ago, Ahara's only son hung himself in their home. He was a student at Seiryo High at the time. And the way Ahara sees it, his death was the result of bullying at the hands of his classmate, Mikoshiba. You mean it's revenge? In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? It's highly likely. As for my request, I'd like to see what you can find out. Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. Up until today, I wrote Ehara off as just another train groper. But he got arrested for that on the exact day that Mikoshiba was killed. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better alibi than being arrested for a different crime, right? Otherwise, the cops would have pinned him as suspect number one. But groping as an alibi? Why go to all that trouble? There had to have been a better way than that. I'm worried. As his attorney, I have to admit there's a chance Ehara planned this, which means I've made a critical oversight. Even worse, I let a misguided court issue a verdict. I can't allow that to stand. I need to reconsider both the harassment and the murder, because I think the truth is these cases are one and the same. All right. Mm. Well... What can I do for you? Can you see if anyone at Seiryo High will talk about Mikoshiba? Right now, we need more information. And the first thing we should focus on is how and why he disappeared. That could give us a lead. So, does this mean you're hiring me? It does. Consider it an official request, if you would. Okay, I'm on it. Ah. Oh. No better feeling than when the jobs line up perfectly. Hmm. Seems like it was bound to happen. <laughs> wow. Ijincho, Yokohama. A harbor town where rotting secrets rarely stay uncovered. The deceased was a student teacher who had vanished from a high school Yagami was investigating. Yet the linchpin to this case a police officer named Ahara was arrested for a different crime, a train groping that shocked the nation. Upon hearing the verdict, Ahara gave the court an ominous revelation that the son he had lost was avenged. Before I go all in, can we go over the defendant's profile? That way I'll have something to work with. Sure. Akihiro Ahara. Age 53. Senior officer with Tokyo PD. Convicted of sexual battery. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku and lived alone in Tokyo. That is, until his arrest. Lived alone? Unmarried then? His wife moved to Yokohama without him seven years ago, when their son Toshiro started at Seiryo High. Toshiro-kun ended up taking his life in his third year. That's four years ago, if you're counting. And the couple never reconciled, huh? Apparently his wife wanted nothing to do with him from that point on. That's it for personal details. All right. As for the charge, Ehar has maintained his innocence. We've had no luck getting him to budge. Mind you, the prosecution has plenty against him. Security camera surveillance, eyewitness footage, 
even trace evidence gathered on scene. The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Yes, although some of it was edited for privacy or length, but it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the verdict? Ihara flew off the handle or something? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. Ihara seemed convinced that Mikoshiba had bullied his son, and to get his justice, he even took Seiryu Hai to court. However, the court ruled against him, claiming there was no substantial evidence of bullying. Mm -hmm. I still need to dig into the court record of that case to see if there's anything of value. Sounds like I'm on deck then. I've got someone involved in the case right in front of me. Who? <laughs> Penguin the man. chairman of Serio High himself. Are you talking about me? I don't know how you pull these things off, Yagami-san. But let me give you a word of caution. I'm listening. Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet. So please don't go around talking about it. Especially at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough. And if they find out everyone already knows... <sighs> They'd show us the door, lock it behind them... And probably charge us with obstruction. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you Mikoshiba's photo, there's one last thing you should know. What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially file an appeal. Hmm. Limited time. If we don't make our move, Ehara will walk out of court with a sex offense charge and a minor slap on the wrist. And once his case is closed, it would take a miracle to get it reopened, even if there had been a critical oversight. Right. I'm sorry to give you a time limit instead of a viable solution. Don't worry. I'll have to make do. For now, let's just keep in touch. Thanks, and good luck. Yo, what was that about? <laughs> sorry. Give me one more sec. Hmm. Actually, Kaito-san, can I fill you in later? I need to get some answers from the chairman. <laughs> hmm? Wow. Jeez. Interesting, interesting. Well, Chairman, Penguin Man, let's see your story here. May I help you with something, Yagami-san? You sure can. Only thing is, where to start? I can't reveal what happened to Mikoshiba, but there's no harm in asking general questions about him. Okay. So avoid talking about Mikoshiba. Remember how you told me about a student teacher went missing? Oh, uh... This is him, right? Hiro Mikoshiba. How do you have that photo? But yes, that's him. I'd like to ask a bit about him in relation to a separate investigation. What... What is it you need to know? Did something happen to him? I'm afraid I can't give you any details. This request comes from a very close colleague. I'm sure you understand. It's a matter of detective client privilege. <sighs> I know that isn't much consolation. But if it's any comfort, I would never disclose anything about your case either. But don't you see? Mikoshiba-kun was officially reported missing. Please, can you tell me something? I promise. I'll tell you everything I can when I can. But for now, let me ask the questions. <sighs> very well. Go ahead. Oh, well, that was I'll easy. I'll start with the basics. Mikoshiba-kun was a graduate here, correct? 
And that's why he came back to train as a teacher? That's correct. How long was he supposed to be here? Three weeks, originally. He'd nearly finished his time with us. But one day he simply stopped coming. It was as if all was well. Then suddenly, he was gone. Or at least that's how I'd heard it. Were you two not that close? No. We had barely exchanged a word since he arrived. Wasn't there a pretty dark rumor about Miko Shiba-kun four years back? Something about how he drove a student to suicide? You mean what was dredged up online? Yes, I'm aware of it. However, in the subsequent lawsuit, that rumor was put to rest. The court found no evidence of bullying. But you had your doubts, didn't you? So you called on us to take a deeper look. Well, uh, yes. But let's not get confused. The tragedy from four years ago does weigh on us. But we've washed our hands of the matter. Well, you say that, yet I can't help circling back to the same question. Why would the head of a school hire detectives to monitor his students in secret? Potentially even out of pocket. Well, for one thing, it would reflect poorly on our institution were I to openly suspect our students. Then there's the issue of bullying being recorded and shared online. You know what kind of firestorm that can cause. I should mention, I'm the one who takes the fall for it. My own privacy be damned. So of course I would opt for secrecy. That's fair. Hmm. But what that still doesn't answer is why this is happening now. I'm not sure I follow. Right. This chairman, uh, there's something pinning him on doing all this nowadays. Right. So what would make him have to take action against bullying now? Why is it like a precedent? Let's see. Hmm. It was aired on my birthday, October 7th. I'm going to say this one right here. The smartphone footage. It's probably what have gotten him now. Could this be what riled you up? But, but this is... This is footage of Akihiro Ihara two months ago, captured up in Tokyo. The man was an active duty police officer, so of course it made the rounds in the media. But you already knew all that. After all, he's the one who sued your school on account of what his son endured here. Bullying that led to suicide. Well, that's... Uh, undeniable. And now that he's in the spotlight, any more problems at Serio would lead people to start connecting the dots. Uh. Mm -hmm. The police would dig up that suicide in no time, regardless of whatever the court had ruled. They might even reach the conclusion you had covered the whole thing up. I get the feeling that's why we're really here, to prevent another mess on your hands. Oh, I see now. Our job's to sniff out any bullying, then you sweep it under the rug. That's simply not true. At least, that wasn't my intention. You sure about that? The thought never even crossed your mind? <sighs> Perhaps it did. The scenario you described was painfully accurate. Every time I saw Yara-san on TV, I'd grow sick with worry that it could all boil over on us here at any moment. I can assure you, Chairman, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I only want to learn about Miko Shiba-kun. In that case, you should speak with Sawa-sensei. She was his teaching mentor. Aww. Her? Great. That's my luck. She's kind of hard See? to work with. I told you we should have stayed on her good side. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? Um, so would you like me to call her back here? No, thanks. <laughs> I should go see her myself. Do a bit of smoothing over. In that case, you may want to go downstairs and see if she's in the faculty room. 
she should still be on lunch. Perfect. I've got another chance to shoot my shot. Sorry, Kaito-san, <laughs> but I'm fielding this one alone. Tsukumo, you guys can clear out too. What? You're benching all of us? Just like that? I don't understand the meaning of this, Yagamishi. If I had time to explain, I would. Just trust me on this for now. <laughs> yeah, guys, trust me. I helped you out before, you know? Give me a solid here. All right. Let's see if I can upgrade anything right now. Let's see. Since Snake is my uh, new favorite style, other than Tiger, let's give it some uh, love here. Hmm. Oh, temporary immunity to knockdowns. That sounds really nice. Oh, can stun during throws. That would be pretty fun. And serpent strike. Additional sh uh, strike to parries during EX boost. Hmm. Oh, I can't get that. Evasive blow. Sip attack fr from a quick step that may stun the enemy. Hmm. So yeah, let's go for that. Evasive blow. And the boxer. Oh, I have to go to a boxing gym. Todoroki. My Hero Academia? <laughs> okay, some buildies here. The Wash Strike. I haven't really used Wash Strike that much during the uh, regular judgment, so. You don't really get much bang for your buck on the abilities. In that case. We're off. We're off to the horses to go meet our favorite teacher at Seru High. <laughs> Always gives us the lip all the time. So we trade blows. Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm sorry. Did you need something, sir? Oh. Uh, is Sawa-sensei here? She should be back shortly. May I ask who's waiting for her? Well, no one's special, really. I just need to have a quick word with her is all. Maybe you could tell me where her desk is? It's right over there. The one with all the English books. Thank you. Hmm. Let's read what she's, uh, she's up to. Learn a bit about her, right? So we could make her potentially happier. We learn a bit more. Okay. Suspicious. Got the attendance. That's good. Always gotta do attendance at the start of the class, you know, all the time. What the? Or else you go, you're gonna get in trouble. If you go messing around with her laptop with all these teachers looking, yeah. Can't really do that. Hey. Ooh, English English course. Suspicious. Hmm. Anything else? Sometimes they hide a few things, you know? Uh, I guess not. What are you doing here? I thought you'd have gone by now. Yes, well. I need to ask you a couple things. Such as? Such as how close you were to Hiro Mikashiba. What?
I heard from Chairman Okuda you were mentoring him as a teacher. I believe this was two months ago? Ooh. Why do you of all people want to know? Hit a nerve. Did you notice anything unusual before he disappeared? Any sign of trouble he might have had? I can't say for sure. He just stopped showing up one day. Really, that's all I know. Uh, is that really all you can tell me? Nothing jogging the memory? I, I said that's all. Mm-hmm. You know what, let's start over. Why don't we talk about him as a student? Well, you were already a teacher here by then, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Back when a student here committed suicide, there were rumors online about how it could have been caused by bullying. And Miko Shiba-kun's name came up as one of the potential bullies. Yes, but those were just rumors. So he wasn't involved in any teasing? I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So as far as I knew, Miko Shiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. He's not the type to bully then? I would say no. Then why would those rumors exist in the first place? You're asking the wrong person. Right. She's gotten quite uh, defensive. Four years ago, the court determined this school was not responsible for a bullying-related suicide. You mean Ahara-san's lawsuit? The father of the student who died and an officer in Tokyo? He was arrested the other day. Well, I'm sure you've seen the news. Yes, but what of it? What exactly is the point you're trying to make here? I believe Ahara-san still thinks his son killed himself because of Mikoshiba-kun. Let me ask you something, Yagami-san. By all means. What are you trying to accomplish? Didn't you finish this whole business with the chairman? If that wasn't enough, you got security called on you. You clearly have zero regard for anyone here. You should have had the sense to leave long before now. Believe me, once I learn what I need about Mikoshiba-kun, I'm gone. In that case, you've already got everything you need from me. But one last question. You and the chairman both mentioned how Miko Shiba-kun got along with the students here. Anyone in particular that he was close to? The kids in the basketball club? Miko Shiba-kun was in that club back when he was a student. Apparently he was showing up to their practices. The basketball club. That includes the gang from before, right? Yes. They all spent quite a bit of time with him. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're suspicious. All right. With that, I'll get out of your hair. Appreciate your time, Matt. Uh, Sawa sensei. Uh, just a minute. <laughs> <sighs> I've got a duty. You're not going to be spilling the beans all the way, you know. I got to uncover you there. Tell me you're still on campus. Why? Suddenly decide you need me after all? Man, don't be like that. You enjoy playing teacher's pet with Sawa Sensei? You mean, did <laughs> I enjoy getting eviscerated by her? She hates my guts at this point. That aside, I did get some interesting <laughs> intel. And that's where you come in. Huh? What for? I want to find those bullies in the basketball club. Think you can fly the pigeon for me? <laughs> so I do have a purpose. Ain't that something? All right, then. It's drone time. Thanks. I'll start scoping out the gymnasium. Oh, that's great. So I have to do as much droning, like in judgment. I mean, I did really like that feature, though. It was pretty fun. But it was a bit hard to control sometimes. Beautiful gymnasium. I would love to be here. Ah, 
Ah, bingo. Koda, tell me everything about Miko. Ah, uh, almost. It's okay. We're, we all been there. Close one. Almost got it. Huh? You're Kodasan from Class 2 too, right? Basketball too? Yeah. You have a second? I um, have some questions about a student teacher who taught classes here in Mikoshiba. <laughs> oh. Really? Yo, you read me talk? That posse of little shitheads just went strutting into the gym with some bats. Kaito-san, can you at least try to warn me a little sooner next time? Why? <laughs> you worried? Hey! Why are you still here, asshole? Who the hell are you, anyway? Talking pretty big for taking a cheap shot while my back was turned. You had it coming, shady old fuck! Coda! <laughs> hey, you been spilling anything to this guy? I didn't say anything. I'll fill you in. I was asking her about Miko Shiba, a student teacher who disappeared from school not too long ago. You guys know him, right? The basketball club would. Don't bother trying to talk to us like we're your fucking friends, asshole. I want to bash your fucking skull in. You'll die before I tell you shit. You wiped the floor with us yesterday. Only fair for you to take a handicap. I don't mind at all. Sure. All good. But it's still going to be pretty one-sided. Oh, yeah. You're so full of shit. Gonna kick your ass! I'm gonna show you the power of snake style. Oh, it wants me to use snake style. Snake. Okay. Perfect style for this. Oh yeah. Oh, I just got laid up. See if I can stun you with this. There you are. It's done. Drop him. Oh yeah, right to the face. Ugh. <laughs> Amazing. Go into tiger style. So I can do a charge up. Oh, get backhanded right there. <laughs> wow, I'm untouchable. got a lot of guts for your age, kid. But come on. You really need a better outlet for all that aggression. Let me go! Just what on earth is going on in here? Hey. Let's roll out. I'm gonna do you a favor here and leave out the part about the bats. Huh? Are you even listening? Yes, ma'am. We were just horsing around a bit, right? <laughs> just horsing around is right. Hmm. <laughs> you really are unbelievable. Why are you attacking defenseless students on their school property? How many times must I tell you to leave our school alone? For what it's worth, the chairman asked me to be here. Oh, good. Let's drag him into this. How should our chairman explain you to the mob of irate parents that will be at his door any second now? Don't worry, there's a very good reason we hired these ragtag detectives to spy on and beat up your kids. Not the words I'd use. If I hear anything else about you, anything, hmm. I'm going straight to the press. I'm under no obligation to cover for anyone. Oh, and your attire is atrocious. When you show up at a school, at least try to look the part. Now go home. What's wrong with my attire? <laughs> you hear all that, Kaito-san? I have a funny feeling I'm not wanted here. Can I talk to the chairman real quick? <laughs> I'm afraid Sawa Sensei's made her point clear. Perhaps it's best you take your leave. After all, 
You've satisfied the bulk of my request. Wait. Okay, how about this? You can hire me on as a teacher. That way, I can stay on campus no problem, right? But you can't teach without a license. You don't happen to have one, do you? No, but I do have a lawyer's badge. How's that for certification? You're a lawyer? Well, that certainly is a respectable position, but it's not exactly a license to educate. Can't we work something out? I'm afraid something isn't specific enough. Also, there is always the off chance that you can serve as an outside consultant. A guidance counselor, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Like a club advisor. Do you happen to have a kung fu club? I've got a few tricks I could show some kids. <laughs> no, there's nothing of the sort. And Too on dangerous. that note, I believe each club already has an advisor assigned. That's unfortunate. Me again. I say it's time we hightailed it out of here. No use sitting around on our asses, right? Why don't you meet us back here and we'll go? I can't. Not until I find something for sorry, son. Suit yourself. <laughs> Don't work too hard now. Wow, went from double duty to triple duty. Gotta help out the school, gotta help out Shiro, and gotta help out the chairman. The chairman don't really want me no more as well. Hmm, <laughs> gotta fill another job with another tool, right? help you actually you already have I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to show your face around here again I'm sorry but do I oh <laughs> they always say perpetrators return to the scene of the crime and you just proved the old adage true monsieur Boyer monsieur Boyer what are you talking about? I'm talking about your pervy little upskirt scheme. Seriously, hiding a camera under the stairs and at your age? Shame on you, sir. Yeah, you lost me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm kind of in the middle of something. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. I have irrefutable proof of your crime. Why, the very shoes on your feet. You're wearing the exact same sneakers as the pervert from yesterday. And don't think they'll carry you to safety today. <sighs> Okay, what is happening here? Sorry, but your evidence is my shoes? Everybody here's got shoes, young lady. In fact, I'm probably not the only person with this exact pair. <laughs> right. Your shoe style is merely the icing on the cake. You see, before the pervert arrived yesterday, I had covered the floor around the camera with a clear polymer that shines under black light. Huh? It's an oil-based substance, so it lasts a few days. Your souls are stained with it as we speak. Um. Uh... Which means you came bumbling back to the scene of the crime while wearing the very evidence of your misdeeds. <laughs> Lamenting your misfortune already? That's what you get for crossing the Mystery Research Club of Serio High. A mystery Research Club? Now. If you'll follow me to the faculty room, monsieur. Oh, wait, just hold on, okay? <laughs> she really got me. She's so sharp. Use EX surrender. <laughs> Refute her claim, flee. Well, I'm a lawyer. And she's talking big game. I wouldn't flee. Gotta fight this girl. 
for what it's worth, you know? Might learn a thing or two from how smart she is. Uh, as much as I want to do the surrender so that she could uh, heal for me, I could also refute her claim. Uh, you know what? Let's surrender. Hmm, I guess not. Let's refute her claim. Why not? There's no way I'd have noticed an invisible substance on my shoes. I'll give you that much. But even if I did step in some mystery goop, does that really prove what you're saying? With so many people on campus, any number of them could have walked over that spot. No, only the perpetrator stepped in the coating. I know this because I was there watching your fiasco. And of course, I had the PE teacher who was with me agree to serve as witness. Why don't you just give it up already? Mm, well, guess we're gonna have to leave then. See ya. Don't want to be ya. There's no escape, sir. I have even more proof of your crimes. Oh, God. The camera may be gone, but fortunately, I snapped a photo of it before it got taken away. With that, I determined everything there is to know about your camera, down to the store where you bought it. Turns out it's an online exclusive. Customized to capture high-resolution footage with an inconspicuous design. Were I to supply this information to the police, they would track down the owner soon enough. After all, the shop would have no choice but to cooperate with a police investigation. <laughs> Do I need to spell it out any further? You, monsieur, are ensnared. Therefore, I think it would be wise to do what I say. Mm, what is it that you want then? Uh, let's say we have a chat. A chat? Yeah. Now, I can't give out any details, but having the cops on me would be extremely problematic. So, I'd like to resolve this as amicably as possible. Think we can come to terms here? I will agree to one thing only. Hearing the unadulterated truth. And make no mistake, I will not be misled by diversion, threats, bribes, sob stories, nothing of the sort. Hmm, figure out how to get out of this. Damn. Hold it right there! If you run away, my evidence goes straight to the police! Oh man. Hold it right. Observations. Oh, to... okay. All right. Let's see then. I thought I was gonna go observe over there. Suspicious. Look at me. Do I really look like a pervert <laughs> sneak into a school for dirty pictures? Well, no, actually, not at first glance. No. Right. So drop the Monsieur Voyeur. But I would be an utter failure as a mystery connoisseur to fall for such elementary misdirection. Uh, what? No matter where or when the story is told, the perpetrators in mysteries are often those who draw the least suspicion. She's this trope carries yapping. over into the real world as well. So the fact that you don't look like a criminal proves nothing. Mm, I guess so. Really? If you think you can fool this mystery fiend, You'd better think again. Right. We could probably uh, see what she wants. What the? Mystery Research Club. Outside counselor wanted. The MRC is in jeopardy. Our advisor is leaving Seiryu. We've been informed that faculty is too busy to run an additional club. We need an outside counselor. If you know any detectives or mystery writers, please share their contact info with us ASAP. Kyoko Amasawa, Mystery Research Club President. Hmm. Wow. So lucky. You're Stars Kyoko Amasawa-san, right? President of the Mystery Research Club? So what if I am? I saw your flyer. 
Sounds like your club's in a tough spot. You're not wrong. Our current advisor got married and quit teaching, and we can't find anyone else to take her spot. On top of that, the chairman's been reluctant to bring in anyone from outside, so the MRC may be in dire straits. Right. But your arrival marks our revival. Should I turn you in as a voyeur, it would make a fine feather in my cap. It would also prove the value of the MRC, so the chairman would have no choice but to solicit an advisor for us. <laughs> I'm in bed well, with the chairman, lady. Well, that all sounds fine on paper, but the real-life logistics may not play out that way. You'll need a competent professional in your area of interest, but you think they have time for volunteer work? When you put it that way, it does seem like a long shot. Right? So here's my proposition. Yeah, how about I become the advisor? I'm a lawyer. How about you make me your advisor? You? Advise the MRC? Why not? A Kamurocho-based detective not good enough? Uh, you're a detective? Oh yeah. I'm Takayuki Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I was asked to come investigate your school. That's about all I can let slip. <sighs> so then... The hidden camera was for your investigation? I'll let you deduce that yourself. Client confidentiality and all that. But I will say one thing. I'm here to stop shady business, not start it. If he wasn't shooting up skirts, then what was he trying to see? Rather, who was he trying to see? Who put him up to it? Our staff? Ugh, so many variables! <laughs> Listen, I don't mean to interrupt, but... Hello? As I was trying to say, becoming your advisor could work out well for both of us. I'm not done here by a long shot, but one of your teachers is bent on seeing me gone. Really? Who? Sawa-sensei. She thinks I have no business being here, and frankly, it's been hard to prove her wrong. But, if I were to advise your club, it'd be all the reason I need to stay on campus. So what do you think? It's a win-win situation, wouldn't you say? Oh, and if it's experience you want, believe me, I've been around the block when it comes to mysteries. I... believe I understand. Mm -hmm. The purpose you stated for being here does fit the circumstances better than my original theory. But I will not be persuaded so easily. So, I propose a test. A test? <laughs> right this way, please. The test, hey! huh? This girl's full of mysteries. I guess that's why she's the mystery club president. <laughs> I walk faster than you. What? What is this over here? Who's this, sis? This is Yagami-san, our new advisor candidate. However, I intend to test him first. See if he's legitimate. Hmm. Eh, fine by me. I'm Kento Amasawa, Kyoko's younger brother. Also the MRC's bodyguard. When your sister's as nosy as mine, you've got to step up your game to keep her safe. Please have a seat, Yagami-san. <laughs> Secret hideout for After mystery you. club, huh? Oh, how kind of you. Makes sense. So, Amasawa-san, back to the topic at hand here. Let's ask about the mystery research club. Could you tell me what the Mystery Research Club actually does? It seems like the advisor ought to know that. <clears throat> so, I founded the Mystery Research Club last year. Primarily, we function as a book club, critiquing mystery novels from many different cultures and eras. But, when the opportunity is ripe, we also engage in more involved activities. And by that, I mean solving the mysteries around us. Oh, you mean go sleuthing, 
like, on a case. So that's what you were up to. I've got to say, as a potential advisor, I'm not exactly psyched to hear you go around looking for trouble. Oh, don't get me wrong. We don't do this for kicks, and I'm not a fan of danger. If we could all be armchair detectives, free to investigate from afar, surely that would be ideal. Yeah, don't I know it. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is rarely, if ever, possible. Your brother's the only, uh, muscle Say our here. investigatory senses were to draw us toward a mystery that escapes even the school and the police. Why, letting such a case slip away would be anathema to our club's founding principles. While I do admire your passion, why put yourself at risk? You'd be safer handing it off to the authorities. Then shouldn't we hand you off to the authorities? Well, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you see my point, then. Some cases aren't so cut and dry. You make some valid points. <laughs> so, getting back to this test of yours. Ah, uh, yes. So, based on what you've told me, I'm inclined to drop your charges altogether. A detective setting up cameras is... believable. That being said... I'd also be a fool to take you at your word. If this is a ruse, I'd be unleashing a pervert on the school. Well, the caution is admirable. Then you shouldn't mind if I test both your skills as a detective and your character as a person. And once that's over, the club will reach a decision. We'll either accept you as our mentor, or turn you in as a deviant. <laughs> I, I get no deviant. the picture. So what does this test entail? Actually, We've been dealing with a rather risky case as of late, so your job is to resolve it. How risky are we talking? This is gonna be so risky. Well, it's about as risky as it is risque. Yagami-san, have you ever heard of a sugar baby? Huh? You mean a younger girl getting paid to date an older guy? You know it. Now our current case involves one such sugar baby. It seems that one of our dance club girls has grown a reputation for dating older men. Unfortunately, I've yet to pin down exactly who this is. All you know is she's in dance club? Well, I understand why you'd want to know more, but what about this warrant's investigation? Is she in danger? The issue at hand is that she may be doing more than dating, and it's putting her safety at risk. Really, no. Well, we found this out online, so we're admittedly speculating a bit here. Online? But apparently this girl's pretty infamous for what they call her vanishing act. She's, she's magical. Care to elaborate? She strings the mark along, going on a few dates for an agreed-upon sum, but then she goes in for the kill. She gets a large upfront payment for promising to seal the deal, and then, poof, gone with the wind. Okay, I can see how that might make her enemies, but that's on the guy, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, he's paying to date an underage girl, and he thinks he has the right to complain? You're not wrong. Problem is, her latest mark, a violent, foul-mouthed thug, isn't so self-aware. I believe rape and murder were his choicest threats. So yeah, we can't just write this one off. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a concern. Mm-hmm. And now he has his gang roaming the streets, searching high and low for the girl who conned him. I'd say that establishes the risk clearly enough. As soon as we found out, we've been trying to find the sugar baby and warn her ASAP. Yeah, I get it now. If we don't act, she could be in very real danger. I think we're finally seeing eye to eye, Yagami-san. After all, the truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. That's not quite how it works, but... Sure. All right, then. I guess we're going to begin the test then, right? In any case, now that the situation's clear, I'd like to get on with the test. Just tell me where to start, and I'll be there. It is said that the great Sherlock Holmes was able to freely change his appearance into that of a total stranger. From helpless old woman to shifty-eyed vagrant, he deceived the masses and never lost a lead, all thanks to a good disguise. So, you want me to go undercover? Yep. Any detective worth their salt should have no trouble with that. 
You're going to infiltrate the dance club as an advisor and return with a lead on the sugar baby. That is your test. Wait, you want me to teach a dance club? If it's required, then yes. I want you to win their hearts in ways I myself could not. Those girls are a close-knit group. They'd never trade gossip with someone like me. However, if a cool new stranger gained their trust, that's you, they might be more willing to talk. I guess but I'm how cool. am I supposed to be a convincing advisor if I've never danced once in my life? That's okay. It's rare for their advisors to get up and do it themselves. They generally teach from a book. Right. Oh, great. Hm. If it's any consolation, their current advisor never even shows up. So, you'll already have an in. Just give them a few pointers, act authoritative, and soon enough, you'll be their closest confidant. Easy peasy. Easy peasy? To teach something I know nothing about? I'm sure you can figure that out. That is, if you really are a detective and not some snaky imposter. <sighs> You're really putting me through the ringer, you know that? Oh, I guess girl. I'll have to prevail with the power of vague advice. Right. Good, then let's move. The dance club will be starting their practice any minute. They're in the gym basement, in case you didn't know. Oh, there's so many I know her areas. test might be tough, Yagami-san, but I think you'd make a pretty rad advisor. So good luck. Uh, huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm, that's supposed to give me some confidence, huh? You walk too slow. I'm just going. Well then, I have to be an advisor for a club where the advisor doesn't really care at all. So I have to go from nothing to something. <laughs> Just broke that table. Should be should be a new experience. Oh, the I think is that the advisor? Oh, it's all girls. Dance club. Hmm. Where's the captain? Uh, right there. Uh, something's not right. I feel so out of it. Sayaka Nishizono, I'd like a word with you. Hey, aren't you Amasawa from the Mystery Research Club? You betcha. Don't worry, I come bearing good news. Oh, great, the MRC. What do you want with us? We're not up to anything. Calm down. I'm not here to expose your secrets to the world. I only wanted to introduce you to someone. Uh, what are you getting at? To preface this, I noticed your club advisor hasn't been showing up much lately. Yeah, apparently he got really sick. We're lucky if we see him a couple times a month. Right, and it must be rough trying to choreograph an entire routine without him. Wow. Yeah. And we've got a meet coming the up. The stars soon. align. It's so much pressure. So much good I luck. I see. Then the stars really did align in your oh. favor. Um, what? You stole. Listen, senpai. I know we might seem desperate, but it's from not my mouth, like we need girl. any favors. We're one of the same. I'm on the same don't wavelength worry. right you now. Don't You don't owe me for this. I'm offering you a potential advisor as a token of goodwill. I swear, uh, I've never played this game yet, advisor? guys. I don't know yeah, how I'm predicting this. Let's not this. sweat the small stuff. The important thing is, Yakumi-san here said he'd agree to help you with your routine as a stand-in advisor. Help with their routine? When did I ever say that? <laughs> For oh my gosh, really? This is just what we needed. You know, I could tell you had a certain something about you. <laughs> so how long have you been a pro dancer? Uh, I'm not. <gasps> oh, so modest. This is like one of those dream come true moments in a movie. I've been literally racking my brain trying to come up with a workable routine. Oh, I'm so glad that's on you now. Whoa, 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 time out. I'm missing some important qualifications here. Yagami-san, this is your Reichenbach Falls moment. You need to dive headfirst into the challenge. Don't you get it? Reichenbach uh, Falls? No. Um... Do you think we can get started? We've been practicing and practicing, but something about our choreography feels off. We all know our moves and everybody's got rhythm, so all that should be left is bringing our A-game. 
But it feels like we're still missing something, you know? It's really kind of down to the wire to be figuring this stuff out, but I know we'll push through if we try. Uh-huh. <laughs> Accidentally press the enter button. So can I ask for your first impression? Does our routine need more going on? Or... Made her uh, conversation. Uh, you know, it's hard to say what's going on at this point. Let's dance. I shouldn't have to say this, <laughs> but keen observation say. is elementary for a detective. And? <laughs> and he doesn't even give a you shit at all. What you observed. <laughs> you did have your eyes open, so didn't funny. you? So <laughs> uh, Right. So they're just doing the same move over and over. Direct input. Choosing to select nothing or remaining silent can also be an answer. Really? The speed in which you make your choice will not affect the outcome. Okay. Determine the intensity of your answer. Your word choice and projected emotion will match the volume. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What's missing from the current dance club? Do something unexpected, right? So, the music's not a bad choice, but it'll take more than your average dance mix to stick in the audience's minds. Have you considered traditional Enka? Nobody'd see that coming. Uh, enka? Well, it is old school, so dancing to it might be innovative. Um, but we can't just start over with a new song after all the hard work we put in. They have the rhythm, they know their moves, what they lack is prep time. She told you all that, remember? Uh. Besides, it'd be demoralizing to make them reset everything this late in the game. Yeah, demoralizing. So we actually have to just, uh... Yeah, spice it up. Isn't your routine a little tame? Maybe you could spice it up a bit. Uh... Spice it up how, exactly? <laughs> you mean like we need skimpy outfits? Or like we dance all provocatively? Uh... What part of this is a high school <laughs> don't you get, Yagami-san? Uh, yeah. Sometimes I just say things. <laughs> That's perfect. Sometimes I just say things. I love that. Okay. Well, since I got everything ready then might as well make a bigger impact i think your performance could use a little more flair flair how so well you're already in perfect sync and everyone knows their part but how to put it <laughs> you were right it needs something that's going to leave a lasting impact i see what you mean maybe we are just kind of going through the motions here if only we could come up with better stuff oh Maybe you could give us some suggestions. Ah. Oh. I don't even know how to dance. <laughs> I would just start dancing some weird stuff. Let's take apart what could give you the edge you need. Hmm. I threw in some kung fu. Right. To a dance club. Yeah, why, why not? Throw in some kung why fu. Why not incorporate kung fu? Uh did you just say Kung Fu? Sure did. Throw a few kicks and punches, or knock the competition right out. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. And it's not like martial arts based dancing is entirely unheard of. Right. But we don't know the first thing about Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. Well, you're in luck. Kung Fu happens to be a hobby of mine. <laughs> <gasps> no way! That's so cool! Well, it's my own style. You won't find it in any ancient scrolls, but it's flashy. <laughs> Perfect! So will you teach us? I guess I'm gonna have to. I guess. Sweet! <laughs> then let's get a quick demonstration. <laughs> let's see some ass-kicking dance then. <laughs> Wait, really? I really have to do this? Of course. How else are we gonna learn? Look up some random videos? We'll get to analyze your moves, your footwork, your breathing. We'll learn from the pro. I wouldn't get your hopes up, though. What if my stuff doesn't fit your routine at all? So, you're not gonna help us after all? 
That's pretty weak. <laughs> if you're giving up after stringing them along this far, hang tight while I dial 110. Uh, hold it. Huh? Yeah, I have no choice. You know what? I think I can wing it well enough. I've never done this before, though, so don't get mad if it's crappy, okay? Oh, don't be so hard <laughs> on yourself. You're gonna do fantastic. Oh, man. Yagami is in for a new one. Okay, what we'll do first is show you the opening 30 seconds of our routine until the chorus hits. While you're watching, keep an eye out for the parts that could use some kung fu moves. Sure. Good plan. Okay, so here's how we start. <sighs> In there. Now you take it away. Oh, doubt I can top that. What happened? But you know what? May as well try. That's a spirit. Ready for the music? <laughs> oh no. Don't even know what happened, bro. You play a rhythm game at the dance club. Before you begin the lesson, select one of Yagami's EX solos. All right. Okay. Let's freaking dance. <laughs> yeah, let's dance. Oh yeah, rhythm games. I love rhythm games. Okay, Yagami. Oh, we have keys notes too. Okay, Yagami. Yeah. Hold, hold notes, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. EX solo. Press ASW. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, Yagami. Oh, that was a bit, uh. How should I put this? Kind of, uh, fun, actually. Incredible. Whoa. Oh, he's amazing. amazing. That was amazing. amazing. Like it. Wow. Mm. Wait, is that I could never do that. Oh, gosh, I hope he doesn't knock someone out. Oh, see it? Oh, oh look at wow. that. Did you see that? Yagami-san, what was that just amazing. now? I thought you said you couldn't dance. Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you. <laughs> what? Winning is part skill and part pulling out of your ass Seemed i don't like think it was. a seasoned athlete could pull that off yagami son that was incredible you're not just a pro you're a master wow <laughs> you're, so you're flexible. giving an amateur way too much credit here no way an amateur moves like that you're something else maybe you don't realize it but you have a gift for this you're totally a born dancer <laughs> i don't know about all that what you call a gift i call muscle memory all those fights I'm too flexible, you know? Well, whatever you call it, we're gonna use every last bit of it in our routine, if that's okay. <laughs> you seriously saved our necks just now, Yagami-san. Hey, I'm just glad it all worked out. Um, if it's okay to ask, could you drop by and give us more pointer sometime? Ever since our advisor stopped showing, we've barely been keeping it together. And we could all use some guidance from someone we can trust. If you guys will have me, then sure. Not sure I have many pointers left, though. Hmm. Oh, you're the best! I think it's time we headed back now, Yagami-san. Huh? Oh, sure. Glad to be of help. So, did I pass? I'd say I made plenty of headway with the dance club. Indeed you have. Honestly, I'm still in shock over how easily you won Nishizono-san over. Every time I try to approach her, she reacts like I'm there to accuse her of something. Uh, she's too nosy. Yeah, I wonder why. I'm sure the MRC has gained some notoriety. Well, all the more reason we need an amazing advisor who can keep up with us. Oh, I'm amazing now. Does this mean I'm no longer a criminal? <laughs> yeah, I really should apologize for that at some point. Also, I have another theory as to why you install that camera. Yeah? Let's hear it. So, a higher detective shows up to covertly monitor a specific group of students. Meanwhile, spreading through the news like wildfire is the case of Akihiro Ehara, a man connected to our school. Put those pieces together, 
and your objective here starts taking shape. But I wouldn't want to hamper any important detective work of yours, so for now, I'll let that theory sit. <laughs> yep, she is sharp. At any rate, Yagami-san, I'll go ahead and let the chairman know of our arrangement. That is to say, I'll formally request you as our advisor. Well, that'd be great. But do you really think you'll hire me just like that? Sure, so long as you're officially considered an outside guidance counselor. I don't see why not. Also, we do need another faculty member as a supervisor, but that's more of a formality than anything. Their only responsibility is signing the paperwork. You'll still be the one running the club. Our school makes you jump through a lot of hoops just to be welcomed as a guest, huh? Yeah, sounds like they won't let in just anybody. Anyway, is there a teacher you had in mind? Yep, no worries there. The chairman actually promised to sign off on whoever we chose. Well, I made him promise might be a bit more accurate. What? Really? Man, I wish he'd told me. He told me the club's already had advisors and left it at that. Typical. I doubt he wants to actually keep his word. After all, if we get into trouble, he'll be directly responsible. He always wants to save his he ass. He probably thinks the MRC is a big enough liability as it is. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, with all that said, welcome to the Mystery Research Club. Can't wait to see a real detective in action. Hey, you'll get your chance, and it's a pleasure to be on board. All right. Oh, when you have a spare moment, could you join us in the club room for a talk? I'd like your advice on another case we're monitoring. What, you've got something besides the sugar baby? Yes, and this one may actually be even nastier. In fact, the sugar baby may be but a single thread amidst a larger, more sinister web of conspiracies. But that's a lot to digest, I know. I'll get you up to speed when you're free. Okay. Not quite sure how to process that right now, but I'll make sure to swing by at some point. Hmm. More delinquent activity. Got you. School stories. That's fun. I'm still a, uh, important part of this school. Even with my main case. Alright, everyone. Thank you for joining me now with another episode for Lost Judgment. Feel free to like and comment below and subscribe to further support the series. I will be continuing the series very soon. And I have some uh, idea of uh, kind of detaching away from the main story. Because I know some of these episodes can be a little bit uh, fatiguing of just watching cutscenes all the time without having any uh, uh, side gameplay. So I'll probably be uploading that next time. But if you're not really a fan of that, then you could also let me know and I could get that sorted to just be playing the main story and then be playing some sub stories after. So please let me know how you feel with a comment down below and I will see you next time. Have a great day.